record. All right, guys, so we're in the um, cab passenger side now. We're going to go ahead and loosen this off. Um, 18 millimeter seems to work. Uh, I honestly think it should be whew, something else. But it fits just right with the socket, but with the wrench, it goes quite a bit. But it gets the job done for me. So that's what I'm going to keep on using. So there's a nut in the back, bolt on the, well, I guess this is the back of the vehicle, but there's a nut on the other end is what I'm trying to get, I'm trying to say. I'm going to climb up there. Huh? Okay, go ahead. Don't drop the nut because you are going to have to reuse these doesn't come with new ones like the rear drive shocks do. So that's that one. I guess I just gotta loosen this just like I did the top one. All right, let's get back to it. Um, all right, guys, so we're going to start the truck and see if that helps out any by lifting up this airbag. You can go ahead and start it. goes in the bottom guys and seeing as this is fully threaded I want to say that there is a uh, just a stationary mount on the other side all right guys so I had to come over here try it out so what I did was get the biggest wrench I could hammer it in start prying down try to try this back up now So it takes some working it out, but you can get it out. So these shocks are actually pretty decent. They're retracting pretty well. And it takes them a second to go down it's compared to the new ones. are actually way harder to push down but the newer one seems to go up faster so that's interesting in itself all right crap let's go back in Alright guys, so 
went ahead and get, got the top bolt in just so that I can hold it steady. And now I'm gonna, what I'm doing is I'm lifting from the bottom of the shock to try to line up the hole. But I'm gonna have to try prying it up a little bit. So that one's in, nut and bolt going in the back. Fortunately, you're not gonna be able to see this. You're just gonna have to, you're gonna have to feel. All right, then we'll go in and tighten. Get the thread locker. So we're gonna have to cut off a piece and get some dikes. Alright, so got some thread locker. Let's see if I can show you. Woo! <laughs> that just flew right out, huh? Alright, we're gonna put some at the end. Send that back through. So that should help it stay on there. Now, let's go ahead and loosen this one in the back. Alright. This one you're not going to be able to see, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. in the back to hold it. <laughs> all right. I'm just fine. Oh, all right. Anyways, got it out. All right, so that's this done. Uh, Let's go ahead and find this socket real quick.